And um, one thing I have got this time, one minute until kickoff, I've got my Himalayan salt. Now that is actually pure crystal, it's really heavy. And I've got a light bulb stuck up its bottom. Don't try that home, even if you're in prison, watching this in prison. Um, and that gives me good energy, good energy. So we're in, we're in with a game. Okay, let's do this. So when I'm playing, I'm going to try to take things a little bit more seriously. And I'm just going to play my normal D4 stuff. Looks like my opponent wants to go into a Slav variation. So we will happily enter into the Slav. Now, this is one of the sharpest variations of the Slav. Um, I'm offering a gambit of a pawn on C4. And in order, my compensation is to grab the center. And also, you've got to ask Black where he's going to castle his king. Because if he goes kingside, g5 weakens his king. And if he goes queenside, he's moved his pawns over there. So that, that the, the compensation I've got here is twofold. Now, in my killer d4 dvd, by the dvd, I actually cover this line. And the idea of this move is to get my knight here, where it later on has potential to jump into a great square. But one thing you need to do in this position is, is chip away chip away at the opponent's structure so i can't remember my theory now i haven't played this this, this for some time but my king is going to be nicely positioned on the king side so okay first thing is he wants if i go pawn takes he wants to go c5 it gets very complicated bishop f3 and how is that taking here check here how is that? I could just go knight takes, but I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to play this one and see how things turn out. It'll be a real pain in the bottom if I lose this one. So the idea is to get ready to move my knight in with a check. And I think I'm going to dive straight in now. I'm going to try to kill him quickly. We're going for super aggression today. I mean, different styles of chess. My, my, my style of chess differs drastically to John Bartholomew. I'm more of a hacker and I like playing crazy chess. So this is the kind of thing I was thinking of. Even when I'm pawned down, I'm hoping that I'm going to have good compensation because his king is weak. So is that true or not? Well, I want to open up more lines. So I'm going to play this one with the idea of opening him up on this area of the board um, but it's getting very complex my opponent is moving extremely quickly so let's move the queen in now and my next idea is to put something on f4 either a rook or a bishop and try to get my rook either to g4 so he's trying he's trying to now my opponent get his swap queens with the queen coming in here now I could take here, or I could go rook f4 or bishop f4. So I'm just trying to think which of these ones I want to play. Rook f4 is my first instinct. Bishop f4 is quite tempting as well. But I think I like this one for now because I threatened to win his queen. And I'm trying to prove his king is weak. But he's moving incredibly quickly. He's an IM as well, so he's certainly certainly not to be trifled with now do i have any tactics with pawn on um i think to start with i'm just going to take this one because it opens up my rook gives me more options now i'm thinking pawn on is is possible but i like getting all my pieces in the game first so i think i'm just going to move this one over here but then that, that does allow knight g6 so bishop here is another option try to get something into f6 this is a bit more complicated than I, I would have wanted, I'll be honest, for the first game. Um, I think I'm going to go this way with the idea of getting my bishop to this square or this square. This this looks like a good good idea, but I've got, I've got to move quicker. I'm moving so slow, so let, let's try to speed it up a little bit now. I don't, I don't want to lose on time. Um, so we're going to try, try and get this one get this one diving in somewhere but not lose on time where's it going to go okay well here bishop e7 looks very natural 
let's just do that i, I want to keep control of the structure i've got to watch out for knight f3 checks but my, my rook does cover that one and it seems like I have very good control of the position here um so my opponent now trying to come up with some well he's trying to take that one isn't he that's a good move so what do i do against that queen d1 maybe queen d1 to threaten the rook coming over or queen takes it let's go queen d1 because that keeps the threat of rook g4 alive and i'm going to get rook g4 in so we're going to get a weird position where he has knight and rook for the queen um very unclear situation but i quite like my position i quite like my position uh don't get back ranked and don't fall for any tricks well no yeah let's do that one let's do that one i want to tie his rook down if i can and now i've done that i should be thinking about getting my rook into the game so let's play again the most aggressive moves i can i'm trying to swing across and hit his weaknesses over here um i'm tempted to play h3 at some point just to give my king an escape square maybe h3 or h4 um which one will i play well i think to start with I want to centralize centralization but I, I don't want to lose this one on time my time is going very badly okay so ah that's a good move I was a bit worried about that 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 one uh, da, 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 da. okay mm. why am I moving so slow this is really bad of me I'm, I'm, I'm god okay god I've got to move quick this is this could be this is going horribly wrong right no talk play ah okay i mean it should be a good position for me but i didn't want to lose my d pawn so i need to certainly get in the zone a bit more here oh my words he's found a great combination there ah oh no i'm worse what am i doing how did i let this one slip that's terrible simon Ah, then he swaps queens. Bugger. Ah, that was silly. I, I let something slip. He's playing very well, actually. My opponent. For the time situation that he had. So now I'm kind of struggling to hold a draw in in this position especially with my time situation so that's why i've gone a little bit quiet as you may or may have not noticed but which way do i go okay uh, is he going to take the draw no he's not okay well we we'll certainly play this one out a little bit more he's going to have to take a lot of risks to win but my time is incredibly bad incredibly bad i should be holding this one because the activity of my pieces is, is great but there's still a lot of technical work to do here and i've got a lot okay I, oh i've made a mistake there because he has rook here check let's use that king a bit more not going particularly well at this moment and that is well i might as well threaten mate you never know you never know ah letting this one slip terrible now king d7 awful play ah okay very bad play looks like i'm gonna lose the first game ah that's so annoying after after that start i had as well but okay really really bad play from me here I'm going to need a miracle to, to get back into this one now. Awful endgame play as well. And I've just... Yeah, okay, I'm very frustrated here with my play. Not a good start. How, why did I do this? Why did I start like this? This is, the, this is bad. So, okay. So, yeah, I, I've basically thrown this one away. And this is completely losing now my position. So, there's nothing I can do. I, I've just played like an idiot there. So oh that's disappointing very disappointing there that was really really bad i should have should have done better there i will start crap fuck a duck so um 
that is okay. I mean, I, I, I got myself a little bit short of time, but I mean, I was clearly, I was winning as well around this moment. And I just played like an absolute idiot here. So, I mean, a number of things I should do. I mean, as long as I don't lose my, my pawn here, I, 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 th this game should be pretty much over. There's a number of better moves. Even something like Queen E6, just don't lose that pawn. My, my idea, what I played is probably all right. Why didn't I play Queen E6 now? It's so easy in hindsight when, uh, you know, I'm going to be taking here. And if he, if he has to play a horrible move like Rook G8, all of his pieces are dead. So I, I, threw, away, I threw away a win there. And in this position, there's a number of ways to win, even g4, because then his knight will, will have to come bad as well. You know, knight here, then I have queen e7 check, winning his knight. I, I'm a queen for a rook up. And if he goes knight g7, well, I go queen e7, and he can't move really any of his... Well, even better, actually, I can just take, take here and go checkmate next move. So that was really, really rusty, rusty play there for me in the first round so I'm going to need to get a massive score at some moment so okay well a bad start there I need a good run I'm going to try to get a little run going there that was a, a disappointing game um, maybe a bit of a tough first round um, there's my opponent's name don't know who he is but it doesn't really matter because it was only me who lost that game nothing to do with my opponent and as you can see yeah, I mean, I played all right up to this point, controlling the game, but then later on, um, let's see where I went wrong. I started to play some terrible moves. Even the rook ending, I should not be losing, but I was under a little bit of time pressure. I'm just wondering if I had a tactical blow here. I'm not sure if I had a better way to play this because all of a sudden here, it's getting a bit murky because he's taken my pawn on d7. And... Um, can I do something a bit better here? I must be able to do something better in this position. I wanted to go rook e8, but then I realized he can go rook takes d7. And there's a nasty check here, followed by a discovered check. So this is not this is not so good, this way of playing. So, ah. Uh, and in the game, well, I got to this ending, and of course, this shouldn't be losing here. I mean, I should at least hold a draw. Very, very disappointing that I wasn't able to hold a draw here. So... Let's have a look where I went wrong. I mean, we checked him around. And how do I do this better? Well, I mean, even this is okay. But now I'm losing this one. It, get, it gets tough around this point. So, yeah, okay. So we're going to need a good start now. A good, well, a, a better start than that. That was my little crappy warm-up there, losing the first round. And I'm going to have to concentrate a little bit better for the next one um okay so well let, let's have a look at the, the tournament situation i expect there wasn't too many upsets going on and um you can see ikari won uh, i expect trent won as well is there many games going on let's have a look how many games only oh is vlad still going on so vlad who who is um a good friend of ours a very good friend is playing nine okay you can't see the board so let, let me see if i could bring it up and vlad is playing okay who's that who's this okay well obviously a, a strong player we've got a very interesting situation well not anymore because black is going to pick up the rook and that is game over so so vlad is is moving to one out of one there and I just need to focus a little bit better now because the next round is going to be started. So to have any chance of getting a good score here, I'm going to, I'm going to need to get a run or something like three wins now going, I think. So, okay, so here we are into the next game. And let's try to do a better job now um, and move a little bit quicker. So um, I don't think David Howe is playing. I saw someone's asking that because he's leading the European Championships at the moment. So um he doesn't he doesn't need to he doesn't need to play play blitz as well uh okay well look harry is coming i'm not messing around harry's coming up the board what setup do i want to go for so i'm always thinking what kind of setup well before i do anything else i'm just gonna try and get a bit of control on the center and develop my pieces and the way i normally set up here and i don't see any uh reason i'm going to change here is to put my knight on e7 and then at some point i might even depending where he puts his king if he castles queenside 
he gives me a massive target. But okay, let, let's get my knight into the center of the board. I mean, I'm thinking about f5, but f5 is a very committal move because as soon as I play f5, I weaken the g5 square. Now, my opponent's gone for a very standard idea of c3. And now that he's played that, now that he's gone backwards, I, I'm going to throw f5 in. And I'm going to try to go for h4 or f4 here, just, just trying to get some, some tactics uh, motoring. Um, and let's get Harry moving straight away, just, just to get a little bit of chaos going in this position. Um, neither of us are castled. Now, I've got a really weird idea here. I don't know if it's any good, but I'm going to play it. I'm going to go g5 whoa they're just, just they're just connecting there all the pieces and the point is i want to gain control of the f4 square i don't know if that's good but my idea is uh well i could take with a pawn but i like taking with a knight we get this weird position on the other hand his bishop has opened up so it's double-edged double-edged position this one really weird weird structure going on um now I'm not going to move my knight. My knight is fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to go here because I want to get my bishop to c6. This is my only piece that's not doing anything. On the other hand, I'm a little bit worried. Do I take the g pawn or do I take with this pawn? Well, this one is a bit positionally maybe suspect for the ending, but I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to I, I can't. I can't refrain from sacrificing in a second. I'm going to I'm going to be taking on f5 soon. I'm lining up knight takes f5. Now, I'm not rushing it. He's got a very positional idea of bringing his knight in. Um so let's let's line up a sacrifice on f5. This this is my main idea. I want to line up something on f5 here. So, I'm getting ready in this position to to take on f5. Um, but he's got this idea of bringing his knight in. It's very dangerous here. Uh, okay, let's let's go for it. Let's just let's just let's just roll the dice and see what happens. So I'm gonna go for this, and I'm gonna just try and get an attack. So sacrifice the piece for two pawns, but we are aiming to cause him a lot of problems on h3. Um, so I'm gonna just play with a normal build up and aim for this one if my opponent goes passive with knight f2 i'm very happy i'm much more worried about that knight coming in um he has gone passive which means i have a bit more time now to to get all my pieces in um with ideas in this position well i could take on h3 now but i'm going to keep that as a threat the threat is stronger than the execution and i think one of my idea main ideas is of course to take on h3 my other idea let's see what he does if i take on h3 i get a number of pawns so he stopped that i'm going to give up more material i mean one of those moves today i don't know if it's good or bad let's just do it there we go we're just throwing we're throwing everything at his king playing like a complete lunatic and what a weird structure i mean i have no idea what this position is this is just really really weird i'm a whole rook down but i'm getting ready to take on h3 and hopefully open up the h file towards his king um he doesn't seem to have much counterplay here so he's trying desperately to sacrifice i'm not even going to take that bishop yet i don't need to at this moment in time well now he's forcing me to take it do i go rook here first and keep my attack going no i, I need to take some material back so we do have to capture that one and he did, that was a very good idea of my opponents he had to do something like that otherwise his position would have uh, got really really horrible and now i'm just going to get all my pieces into the attack and hopefully something turns up here so now if my queen gets to h3 happy days so this is this is looking a lot better now this sacrifice um crazy crazy game i'm still moving a bit too slowly for my liking um he can't take my bishop because it'll be checkmate. My queen will come into h1 with checkmate. So this is looking good now because all of a sudden for being a rook down. Well, I can I can go material up now by checking and taking the rook. But you know what? I love this bishop so much. I want to keep that bishop. 
I, I don't I don't want to give up the bishop in this position. I think again the threat of this move is a killer and uh, he should be in serious trouble. But I had this in the last game and I messed it up. So let's not do the same again. So right, I need to just keep my concentration. One thing I realise is when I get good positions, I often throw it away and um i have enough time here i have a minute on the clock and he's trying to swap off queens my opponent but even if i swap off queens i've got an excellent position but i don't really want to swap off and i don't think i have to i think i've just got to check on f6 or here i don't know which is better does it matter probably not and that is a big check and that's probably going to do the business there i expect he will resign okay well that was an interesting game i don't know what what the what on earth was happening there in, in that game um before we i'll go over to john bartholomew's game in a second who's playing hikaru uh but first of all that was really interesting i mean this weird pawn structure and in order to win this game, positionally speaking, thank you for the donation, Dan. That's very kind. Cheers, run. Dan. Very kind. Thank you for the donation. Uh, if, if I don't do anything quickly here, I could be a lot worse because you see these two squares in the centre. If he gets his knight into those two squares, I'm in serious trouble. So I need to do something quick. So hence why I sacrifice a piece. And this gives me an attack on the H file and against H3. And then later on, uh, I think the key move, it actually looked that this is a very strong move for me because I get the other rook in and even though I go a rook down, he can't move his bishops and I just have a very simple idea of taking on h3, opening up the h-file and checkmating his king. Um, so that's why I did it and obviously we saw what happened. But I think while, while John Bartholomew's game is going on, let, let's have a look how, how John John's doing um, and he's playing Hikaru. So... Hikaru is two pawns up, not a good sign, and he's also a lot of time up on the clock. So I would imagine that John is, is going to lose this one. So uh, uh, I get to the same points as John, but not in a very good style. Uh, Harry the H-pawn seems to be winning the day here. Um, I don't even know how many rounds this tournament is. I, I should probably check these things. How many rounds is it? Let's let's go and have a look. It's 10 rounds, actually. That's a lot of rounds. Um, so if I put a game plan in place, so I want to do really well in this tournament. I, I lost the first game, but we can recover from that. We've got to... It's not how you fall. It's how you get up, is is the famous saying. So um, what I'm going to what I'm gonna try to do uh, is I'm going to aim for four out of five at the halfway mark so if i get to four out of five so i need to win my next three games you've got to you've got to look high that will be yeah that will be basically um a, a pretty good score I, I think you'll agree and we can see in this game john john is john is probably about to to resign here so yeah we i think i think four out of five that's what we need to go for the big four out of five in, in this one um and okay well let's let's have a look back at the scores in the competition and you can see here that most of the big guys are on uh two out of two so uh hikaru i don't think anyone's ever got maximum points hikaru is the kind of guy who could get maximum uh daniel naraditsky very strong player young player as well uh the little peasant is um i believe let me just check an american player it is a yeah, ramirez um very good at blitz as well and um i'm just closing down some windows i don't need how are other people you know how's trent getting on is trent still playing where is trent let's see if we can find our our, our good friend friend lawrence trent see see how see how he's rolling is he still playing can't see him there at the moment so i mean one of my personal aims of this competition is to get more points than lawrence trent that that's a that's a, a massive a massive you know massive idea by the way john bartholomew did lose to um hikaru nakamura but hikaru's a very special case he's 
extraordinarily strong player. So where is, where is Lawrence? I can't see Lawrence. Anyone see Lawrence? And am, am I missing him? It looks like Vlad lost his last game, unfortunately. And Lawrence is on one out two as well. Look at us. 47th equal at the moment. So, um, you know, but look how many players are in this tournament. It's such a great tournament. If we scroll all the way down, I mean, it's fantastic. There's, there's over 134 title players. And what we mean by that is in order to play, you, you basically have to have um, a title. So you have to be like a, an international master, a grand master, you know, a woman FIDE master. If you're interested, I, I did mention this before in a controversial podcast about chess. Me and Lawrence um, do this this podcast, which is free. I did mention it before. I'll throw it up again. The Full English Breakfast. You can download the podcast for free from um, if you just search the Full English Breakfast. And we had a very. I saw there's been a couple of articles written about this as well. And I don't know what you guys think. I, I can have a little look at the chess, the chat now. Hello, Lee. I can see Cruzy Lee is here, who I, I saw yesterday as well. Uh, drinking a lot of wine was Cruzy Lee. Um, should women have their own titles? That, that's basically the question. So should you, should you have a title of woman I am? Is it sexist to just have women titles? I mean, you know, should should we just get away with women titles do they are they more detrimental uh, uh to to women than not having titles so for example should we get away with the, the women gm title should we just have you know fm im gm and just get rid of the women titles doesn't it hold women back in some ways that they're they're, they're being categorized in a different way um I, I i don't think that i think, still think women should definitely have their own tournaments you know where they're just playing uh you know again you know because it encourages encourages the the play and the, the development of players but i don't know about um i don't know about their their, their their own titles maybe maybe this should be it should be something that is uh uh, get get rid of maybe it is demeaning in, in some some way as well i mean it, it's quite an archaic idea uh i think um uh oh grow right so i think let's just see two games to go and i've got white in the next one what am i going to change well i think i'm sort of uh basically uh warming up a little bit now so i don't mind i think i'm going to still play well the first two games have been very exciting haven't they They've been very exciting, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep playing in that style. I'm gonna keep keep just coming at my opponent, throwing punches at him, and, and keep attacking. I think that's that's something I needed to do. Um, I like the way Lee Lee is telling everyone in the chat that he ended up in in in, in a gay club, and uh, I'm, I'm and this is yes last night when I I left Lee, not not in a gay club. I, I was actually playing chess, and Lee Lee was one of the people who came along. We were playing chess in a pub yesterday. And it was in London, central London. And um, I'm glad, I'm glad you, you, you just shared that with the world, Lee. I, I know you are very fond of gay clubs. Um, I don't have anything against that at all. Okay, right, anyway, one bit of game. So I'm playing uh, someone higher rated than me here. So this is a big game, a big, big game. And uh, Spinal Tap, well, do I have a chance to see who Spinal Tap is very quickly? Tom Bartell and let's now get back to the game and I'm going to go straight for his king and this is a very important game I'm going to go for the same line as last time I think I'm going to go for an attacking pawn sacrifice line the other line I do play I do take so I'm going to go a similar fashion where I take the center but I give away I give away a pawn so I'm going for another sacrificial idea uh, it worked well opening wise last time, so I'm going to go go with it here. And again, this is a key move in these positions to attack Black's queen side uh, pawn structure. And now let's go for this one. This is interesting because I want to throw my queen over here and just try to checkmate him. Because you know what? Don't ever forget checkmate is the end of the game. Sounds sounds absolutely stupid, but it makes. A lot of sense because a lot of people go on about positional play maneuvering who gives a damn if you checkmate your opponent it doesn't matter so okay so well i'm gonna go for it uh i'm gonna go here maybe he won't notice 
and um, I'm just going to dive in, dive in with the attack. Okay, so now I'm hoping this move has created weak weaknesses on his dark squares, and like before, I'm going to try and get a knight into this square here. So any tactics going here? Well, uh, if I take here, takes, 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 my queen is gone. Any tactics on this square? No, let's go for this one because now I'm going to try to move my knight into the f6 square. This kind of idea. Now, the one thing I have to watch out for is this. Now, I could maybe take on b5. Takes, takes, takes. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do that um, straight away. Am I worried about this? No, not necessarily. Is he going to go here? Maybe. So takes, let me just count, do a little bit of count. I've got weird move, bishop h6. Is that is that even, is that crazy? I'll tell you what, maybe I should just develop. And um, watching out for this and c5. This is something I, I, I'm just trying to keep an eye on. So I mean, let me calculate. Takes, 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 queen here. He's going to want to move his pawn onto the square. God, there's bad noises outside. I don't know, like some animals being slaughtered or something. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to finish my development first because I can't see any, any big blow at, at this moment in time. I was thinking about this crazy move, Bishop H6, but it kind of feels it, it shouldn't be right. Now, the one thing I, I am concerned about in this position which is very natural for this is him trying to play c5 which of course he's done great just as i just as i didn't want him to do um takes takes bishop b5 how's that looking uh let's go for it let's go for this one um i'm a bit nearer to castling but my center is is falling apart so i'm kind of relying on this move to at least stop his knight coming into e5 now um and if i can castle i don't mind losing my pawns in the center if he can't castle so this is this is very sharp stuff but he's found he's found a good move another move I, I was a little bit concerned about him playing when he just wants to take this pawn do i really have any compensation here uh tactically well if i take that one and hold on to this don't like it so much um if i get this check in okay i'm gonna castle and hope hope that my development will will counteract uh some of the material that I, I i am actually down here so if he takes here i've got knight f6 check then king to d8 very very complicated position um and Okay, so he's getting rid of that one first. Have to take back. And again, I'm kind of relying on some check with my knight here. But I could be going two pawns down, but he, he hasn't got castled yet. He hasn't got castled yet. So he's taking here. Uh, I need to really get my pieces in and not finding the good squares here. Uh, as I want him to. His knight is very strong okay now i'm gonna have to in order to get my position to work i'm gonna have to get my pieces working a little bit better so i'm gonna try to get my knight to one of these two squares it will give him time to castle not going well i suppose if he moves his bishop i should play bishop h6 to stop him castling but then he can then he can swap queens at queen h5 and i don't want to really allow the queens off the board but i'm not going to create any tactics here without my pieces coming into the game so he's gone this way instead right well i'm gonna have to let him castle and try to prove some kind of compensation even though it i'll be honest it's not looking it's not looking great for me here is it again throwing a little bit too much away i didn't find the right moves again i'm not finding these right things at the critical moments i might have to simplify my play a little bit i can't swap queens because my position is going to be hopeless. Everything else, not happy the way I'm playing here, guys, today. Um, and I've got 23 seconds. Okay, well, let, let's just play. 
let's just play quick and, and, and hope we can we can turn this around somewhat. Not easy. Two pawns down. Where is my attack? My attack has never really developed down on time. What's good about my position? <laughs> what is good? Not much. Not much at this moment in time. Okay, wow. Things can only get better, eh? If if the position is terrible, we we can only attempt to create some confusion, which is what I'm desperately trying to achieve in this position. I need to get throwing at his king. How do I do that? How do I even get my piece in? Ugh. I never got the compensation that I wanted. Well, let's get the pieces into the position. I need a miracle. Well, knight f6, something. Maybe I should have gone rook c6 last move as well. He's, he's getting short as well. So <coughs> some hustle opportunity here. A little hustle opportunity, but not a great deal. Oh, let's play that one. Try to confuse the issue a little bit. Okay, got to move quick, got to move quick, got to move quick. Otherwise I lose on time. Come on, come on, let's keep attacking. Ah, where's my move? Oh God, not going well, Simon. Tricks. Moving as quickly as I can, but this is a desperate, a desperate attempt at something I'm trying to achieve here. God. No, that's not the move I wanted to play. Ah. Yeah, been done again there. I even had some chances. Bad start. Okay, so. Oh, he swapped queens off. Well, he could have gone queen f4 there immediately and won. But this is, of course, uh, going to be good enough for victory uh, as well. And, well, I got, I got very bad opening there in, in, in this game. Okay, well, that's, that's just thrown it away as well. Got very bad opening there. Um... I'm wondering where I went wrong. This opening is not working well for me for some reason. And maybe I'm not. Um, maybe I'm not. I mean, I've been told by Lawrence that he's bungled it as well. Not going well. Is that is that Lawrence who's bungled it or me? I mean, surely I should have had some compensation. So the one thing I always recommend you do, even if you don't want to, and I do get annoyed when I lose, everyone does, is at least try to work out where you went wrong. And I kind of feel that around this position here, I should be doing all right, surely. Surely I should have good compensation here. Maybe maybe I shouldn't be... I, I, I tell you what, I don't know why I'm moving this knight away. That That is that is just the wrong idea. Why am I moving that knight away when it doesn't need to to move? That's that's really not cool. I should be... I should be trying to attack on the king side. I mean, why didn't I use Harry? What is wrong with me? Let's just push Harry up the board because at least now... I can start to attack his king side over here and, and get something going. So my idea of getting four out of five, not looking so good. So I'm going to have to go for three out of five and then have a great second half uh, in the position. But something like this would have been a much better rather than moving my knight away. It's so simple afterwards and it's one of those things on another day where you, you would assume it would go better and, and things would click. But let's have a look. So even later on, did I have any better way to play this? So the problem is now, if d4 goes, e5 will go. So I, I need to sort of try to find something better. I mean, bishop e2 was a very limp move, this one. I mean, later on, I got back in the game. Um, but 
this is not right bishop e2 it's too slow here what i was trying to calculate here i mean i was even looking at this weird move i mean this is the kind of move i might play if i had a little bit um a little bit more confidence um so mean laws have to come back strong now in our next couple of games because it's not going so well at the moment uh and i'm going to change my style I'm, you know i'm blaming it on tightness i'm going to go a little bit more positional now i need to win my next two games must win my next two games uh to do this um and well hello hello spinal tap chess who, who who's just crushed me and who's in the chat as well hi bastard <laughs> and uh well i completely fluff that one up i have to say maybe i should have gone for this bishop f6 move just just to i don't know it might be a load of rubbish but something like this but bishop e2 what a wet move what's wrong with me okay i've got another have i got another game okay come on right i'm angry now so i'm gonna go for uh a more i'm not i don't know why i'm not playing is this okay it has started come on okay i'm gonna go for the london system and yeah, well played, well played, uh, Spinal Tap. He he did he did play well there anyway. So can't I can't I can't fault him. Right, I'm going to go for more positional. I'm going to go back to the London system. I need to win the next two games now. So this is an opening which I know pretty well now. And this is a very little dangerous line he he's played into because I want to get my knight straight in. I say positional, but nothing last two positional when i'm playing people think the london system's a really boring opening but i tell you it's not so boring guys it can be really exciting um as hopefully you're, you're gonna see here now i've already got ideas of bishop here now what can i do now can i take on f7 or do i go bishop here bishop here a6 knight takes f7 king takes check can I go takes, takes, check, king here, check, hmm, weird, uh, bishop here, can I go knight here, what is going on, this is a very really complex position now, uh, already, and I'm not entirely sure, again, what is, okay, I'm going to bring another piece out, I was looking at sacrificing on f7 immediately, in in that position um so that's what i was thinking but i'm trying to i'm trying to get this move to work uh, followed up by this check here i'm wondering if this is working knight takes f7 knight g5 check this looks very dangerous for him but maybe okay and the other option here is to go knight g5 straight away but again i'm going into complications immediately but you know what let's just do it let's just do it who said the london system is boring let's go for it okay i, I don't know if this is working I'm, I'm giving up a whole piece here to to try to create a little bit of black knight magic here which i don't know if it's good or bad um at least i'm picking up his rook in some lines and i'm trying to come through here but maybe there's an even even better way of doing this i don't know let's have a look this this looks this looks like a, a good option and there I was beforehand saying, I'm going to play a nice positional positional game. You know, a nice easy positional game. Have I have I played a nice easy positional game? No. No, this is not. This is not the, the positional game um, I was uh, uh, looking for. But these knights, they're, they're rampaging. Look at them. They're killer knights. But I really need to win this one and the next one. Okay, so now I was thinking I'd just go here with the knight and he probably has to give up his queen um do i take his rook or do i okay i think i'm going to go for this one but he gets a lot of pieces he gets loads of pieces for the queen um he's got three pieces for the queen so i, I have no idea again who's better here i don't know normally normally in chess the three pieces are better than the queen so the three pieces are normally better than the queen but my knight is still a nuisance here it's still a, it's still a pain for him so it's a very unclear messy position um uh, there if i'd have gone bishop to uh d6 it would have been the same thing i could have done the same thing 
shouldn't be looking at uh, uh, chess advice as I'm playing. But it's the same thing. He would have given up his queen in the same situation. So I'm going to have to keep my knight. And what kind of strategy should I be going for now? Well, castling can't be bad, can it? And I think I want to do something like f4. He didn't give me a chance. I wanted to get my knight into the square. Didn't quite get a chance to do that. Now, given another chance, I'll get my knight to h4. So he has allowed me to do that. I'm just trying to find ways in for my pieces. So the knight now is aiming into some weak squares that I see. And I, of course, like I mentioned, I need to win this game to, to get to even, you know, an even score, which is not, not really quite what I had in mind when I when I went into this so uh, how should we play now okay I don't want to move this pawn I want to keep his bishop out of the game but I have just allowed him the opportunity of going bishop here bishop to a6 threatening b4 might have to move my queen again then it seems like he's moving quite slow so I, I, I'm going to try to keep keep the pace up but again this position really unclear and Okay, I'm going to admit my mistake and come back now. My pieces might get kicked back a little bit. The problem is when the pe when his minor pieces start working, things can go a little bit wrong here. But okay, I've got f3 and e4 coming in. Open things up like this. And maybe I want to try to get the rook in the game with some move like a3 as well. Or just c3 to consolidate the position. Um what is that move can you really go backwards like that in chess well he wants to get his knight here uh clearly so well we're, we're allowed we're allowing to do that I, i'm going to try to get all, all my remaining pieces working so first of all this rook here wants to wants to play a part in the game now if i go here here if he goes knight d3 i take on a6 so i've got my nice my nice london system kind of position here and i don't think his knight's been that successful so surely i can take this now what am i missing this is the tactic that i had uh, i had planned maybe my opponent missed this because he's very short of time and now as long as i don't do something stupid of course it should be winning uh, my material is, is is too much here and my opponent is uh, short of time as well um okay just so i don't get back rank checkmated it's always a good idea to give yourself an escape square so i'm going to do that now and i also don't want his knight coming in here now i've done that queen and knight coordinate fantastically well together so i'm going to try to get them now moving their magic and here they come queen and knight uh and the threat is knight takes h6 which i'm gonna play anyway and hopefully pick off all of his pieces now now can i pick his rook up with check can't see how i do that so let, let's just uh let's just play this way for now and just don't blunder as long as i don't blunder this game is clearly mine you see how important this h3 move is h3 has made my king very safe and now my pawns will do do the job uh, easily uh, in these positions i always find if you if you give a couple of checks sometimes it, it, it's very annoying for the opponent and of course that is quite an easy wings so i take on c4 but again a really crazy game there and i'm only on 50 percent with one more game before the halfway mark it feels good to win i've forgotten what it feels like to win i'm playing a little bit maybe too crazy today uh if i win the next one three out of five it's not amazing but you know i want to get higher but it's not terrible if i get three out of five and i come through with a massive roll and uh, it could go well but I, I mean at least all the games are very very interesting but this opening as you as you probably know um the london system which maybe i've lost two of my other games of white when i haven't played the london system but this london system is is one of my specialities and this little move order trick that i do i've had loads of times when they go b6 well worth remembering guys they're probably going to go here and that gives you a chance to get your knight into c4 when you threaten this one and look how that knight jumps into the position now i don't know here what, what i was thinking in this position i was thinking about a number of things but 
I was wondering if I could take here immediately. This is a move I wanted to play. Uh, and the concept is if king takes, knight here, check. Now, if he starts moving his king to g6, I'm going to attack it. Maybe bring bring Harry into the game. Um, if he goes to e8, I will take here and go here. So I was wondering about this position. And now there's a very interesting move here. Bishop d6. And I was thinking here, this is quite similar to the game. Well, if he goes backwards, my knight comes to e6. And the point of this is, if he takes, then I go knight check. He moves his king. Then I take here. And we get the same kind of thing as in the game. But he's got an extra pawn, a pawn on e6. So what I played in the game must be better than this. But that was, uh, I mean, whoever says it's boring, uh, the London system, where you can see there, clearly, clearly not um, a boring opening whatsoever. So there's loads of games going on. I'll take a quick break after the next one if I get a chance and would we'll do that. So uh, what games do we have? Can we see if Lawrence is still going? And we'll check out the scores in a minute. So here we go with what's happening so far. And the standings. I expect Hikaru is uh, uh OK. Hikaru is not yet on four points, but a number of people are up there. Um, Hikaru is on three and a half, we see. So he's dropped half a point. Um, remember, I'm on two out of four. So to get in the mix here, I, I, I certainly need to start playing a little bit better and get a good roll. Any other names there? So we're looking for like John Bartholomew, Lawrence Trent, seeing if uh, any of these guys, how they're getting on. Um, so Blitzstream, another streamer on the same score as me. Uh, oh, Tregibov is, is a very strong, well, if it is the Tregibov, very strong Russian player. I just played Spinal Tap, uh, who beat me uh, and played a nice game. My mate there, Vlad, who, who plays in my team, Cheddleton, the English League, is on two out of four. Uh, what else do we have? There we go. There's myself. And, you know, not having a great tournament at the moment. And look at that. I'm on the same points as Finns. So I'm on the same points as John Bartholomew. We're sharing. Where is Lawrence Trent, though? Um, well, you see that? E even, look at this, even an ex-world champion. And that is, I'll just show you who this is. You, you may well know. This is Alexander Kostenyuk who is ex-world champion, very famous player. She's playing, so that's great. But even uh, Alexander is uh, only on one and a half out of four, just showing how hard this tournament is. It's a blooming hard tournament. Everyone you play is like an IM or a GM. And there's old Lawrence. What's going on, Lawrence? Where are you? Where, where are what, you? know, Look at you, Lawrence. I might, Lawrence is having a disaster. Poor old Loz. Poor old Loz, go and get some, go and get some cider in like me. At least if you have a disaster, then it's, uh, it feels a bit better. Um, right, so, um, okay, we're just going to see how many more games are going and we'll get to the halfway mark in a second. Need the next game, three out of five, gives me a good platform to come forwards with. But the good thing about the game today, at least every game has been very interesting. It's 10 rounds in total and we're only we've got a long way to go so to be honest i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to stream all the way to the end because it's already nearly 11 o'clock here and um uh yeah the girlfriend needs to get some sleep and it's not really fair me to uh keep her up streaming because it's a small house we live in but we'll see we'll see maybe maybe we'll have to call it in early because of the late start um right so any more games going on i'm just checking now in this round i'm kind of ready for the next round now i feel like i've got myself into a good decent position for the well i feel like i'm now playing a little bit better i'm seeing more stuff um and one more game going on okay have a little look see how it is oh no oh i'm playing a cobian blooming egg talk about a tricky game okay well i'm sure you you're all aware of, of who i'm playing this is a massive game this is a game I need to win. So I'm going to stick with my Dutch. You all know who Kobian is. A very strong grandmaster from America. And um, this guy's good. This guy's good. He's got a good rating. I'm going to stick with my Dutch. And let's see what happens, guys. So important game for me. I'm going to need, if I have any chance of beating a Kobian with black, 
I'm going to need full concentration here. So I'm going to play my, my pet system. I'm going to hope he doesn't know all the theory. Now, I think queen c2 generally is a mistake. Um, but this position is 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 fine in in the dutch if i can get e5 and f5 in if i can get these two moves in which i have done i do think that black gets an okay position i actually had this same position funnily enough uh, against another legend i had this position against um alexei shirov who i'm sure you've also heard of uh, okay, so what do I take? We take with a pawn or take with a bishop? Let's take with a bishop because I want to use the C file later. And now if I go here, here, it's okay, surely. Right, I, don't, I, I really want to. I really want to get a result here, as you can probably tell by. Um, how long I'm thinking about things and not talking quite as much. I'm controlling the center. This 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 has to be an okay position for me. I've got good central control. So always nice to have that. My opponent trying to do some naughtiness over here. But I'm gonna go for some naughtiness in the center of the board. Come on, let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. And let's try to activate my pieces as much as I can. Now, I'm wondering if he should take on e4 here, if he should sacrifice. Takes, takes, queen takes. It's kind of thing, I, you know. Okay, he hasn't done that. So now I get a very strong pawn, unless I take on e3 and just go for a direct attack. No, I'm going to keep it positional because my pawn structure, to me, looks very pleasant okay so now there's no need to do anything crazy let's try to keep my position a little bit under control now i could have taken that pawn i don't want to take it at the moment i i, I like my position so i'm just going to try to swap off because my pawn on d3 as long as i don't fall for some tactic is is a game winner that is a game winner as long as i don't lose my pawn on d3 that's a game winner. So I'm going to try and just logically look at his bishop. His bishop is entombed at the moment on this square. It can't get in the game. So it's kind of like I'm playing a piece up. So I, I don't need to necessarily do anything too crazy here. Um, I just need to exchange the right pieces. I could go for an attack. Uh, G4 is a move I, you know, very risky of him playing. So he's defending. Okay, come on. I want to hear you shout, Harry. Harry, Harry, let's just push Harry. Gives my king escape square and maybe I can start an attack over there. Now, okay, next stage of this. The rook, I don't think wants to be there, so I'm just going to reroute that rook. Well, why is my rook on f6? It's going to be better here. I can even go for an exchange of queens because now I've killed his bishop. But if I move my knight, his knight will come into d4. Maybe I even t give my bishop up for his knight. Because as long as I leave him with this piece, as long as I leave him with this piece, I have a fantastic, fantastic position. So, okay, well now, I'm certainly going to offer an exchange of queens, which you know I don't always do. Now, okay, he can take this one. But then my rook at least gets active over here. He's gone for that. Maybe I, sh maybe I shouldn't have gone for the, this complications, actually. I'm kicking myself a little bit now to 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 uh why why did i complicate when i didn't need to silly me okay uh yeah i'm certainly kicking myself a little bit now this is very unnecessary just exchange the right pieces simon because then if i don't fall for any tactics the position must be good leave him with this bishop try to exchange off all the other pieces but i don't know i shouldn't have allowed his queen to get so active that that was that was silly of me uh okay and you see how you see how his rooks got really annoying here that's a, that's a pain 
It's annoying, annoying. Okay, don't worry, don't panic. Centralize, maybe here is a good square. That's a good square for, for the bishop. Again, I, I'm happy to try to exchange pieces off as long as I leave him, like I say with a bishop. I want my d pawn to be an end game winner here. So I've just got to make sure I try to get these things exchanged off. And of course, easier said than done because I've allowed his queen activity here. What am I doing next? Well, I kind of thinking maybe I'll put my king here and try to go rook f7. I want to kick him away. So he's aiming to hit my pawns to stop this from happening. Um, now, again... Do I go g6? G6 weakens weakens my position even more. This piece is a slight problem. Knight f6. Knight f6. I'm going to play g6 and hope I don't get in trouble here. So I just want to keep the bishop out of the game. I want to keep this out of the game, of course. Right, okay, so I'm just going to go in proper concentration now. What the hell am I doing here? Ah, doing it again. Just got to swap off the right pieces, but I'm, I'm, he's getting very tricky on me. My time's going, so this is why uh, this is why I'm I'm sort of uh, doubting my play at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to play quick. Let's consolidate everything. That piece was hanging. I don't want it hanging anymore. Got to move quick. Get those pieces off if I can. Which I'm sure he won't allow. Play quick. Quick and confident. Get them off. Get them all off or win a pawn. What's this like? What's happening here? What is this? What is this? I've kept his bishop out of the game. He's been playing a piece down for a long time. But my time is very low. Just need to eliminate that pawn. Eliminate that last pawn if I can. Get rid of this one here. Come on, I need to get rid of you. And then I'll be happy. If I get rid of that last pawn. Need to get rid of that pawn. Look at the D pawn. Look at his bishop. His bishop has been dead the whole time. Get in there. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh. 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 Oh dear. Got there in the end. We got there. Boom! Go, go, go do those things to the duck. Go do it. Take it down, Cobian. There you go, Cobian. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Cobian. So, oh, that felt good. That felt good. But you know what? I think I think I think I had a good position there. You know, I think things were right there. Things were going okay. Um, because. You know, he's a very strong player, Kobe. You know, he's one of the top players in America. Top, top grandmaster. And it's nice to play one good game. I needed to win that. And I had to just do a little bit of focusing. But positionally, you know, I, I love this opening. I mean, I, I, I do know the Dutch. You can you can actually buy the DVD from the Ginger Gem store. I think it's only, it's under 10 bucks. Eight hours. And you'll be able to play the opening like me and beat a Kobe. Okay, but... Um, Basically, the position should have been good for me quite early. The first rule in the Dutch is if you get the pawns to these two squares, you generally get a good, good, a good game. Um, you're not worse. 
And then the reason I play e4 here is to kill the bishop on g2. Positionally, this is one of your main ideas because the bishop is now fighting against the wall. And as you can see later on, um, I now have this really good center, so I must be better here. Uh, I want to develop with my bishop. I don't want him taken on b7, so we go b6 first. And now we just get this position here where I'm able to use my d-pawn. If he takes, my knight comes flying in, and that knight will do a lot of damage, potentially flying in the, into these two squares. But I'm going to be honest here. I didn't want to say it at the time. I didn't want to jinx myself, but positionally speaking, positionally speaking white is now lost he's lost because this pawn is a protected pass pawn right in the middle of the board his bishop on g2 is dead because it can never get past my pawns how can that bishop ever get in the game it can never get past the pawns it can't get past those pawns so as long as i as long as i don't do something stupid then i should be doing all right but then of course i did something stupid it wouldn't be me if i didn't um, I think here bishop f6 is fine. I want to swap off every piece except for the bad piece. And um, what I should do here is, I think in hindsight, just take the knight. Because again, I leave him with the bishop. So why didn't I just go bishop takes knight? This would have been a lot easier. Try to swap off because I'm really playing a piece up. I'm playing my knight versus his bishop. Um, it got a little bit complicated later on. Because even though, even here, I think I'm doing well. Because look, he is playing a piece down, don't forget. And he can't really move his knight because my d-pawn. So, but I, I, I allowed him to get um, uh, basically quite active here. And I had to play some good moves now. I just got to stop his two active pieces coming in the game. This is why I play g6, because my pawns just stop that bishop. So positionally speaking, it's probably a nice game. And here I've got everything defended so I can slowly now come out. I wanted to swap my bishop and knight around. And I think here he's in a lot of trouble. I think he's losing. He's just losing now. It's quite easy because I'm going to win the C pawn. All my pieces are working. His pieces are not. And around here with queen e7, well, of course, any ending is going to be very good for me. If I get to an ending, I'm going to win the C pawn. I'm a piece up. It's easily, it's actually easily winning here. I mean, for example, if he if he doesn't blunder his queen, then he has to move it, and at some point I'm going to get some ending like this at some time when it's a very easy win because there's nothing he can do to stop my king coming in or or winning the game easily. So so I don't know. I mean, he, he probably you know it, it was a bit of a tight game there. So I, I I let him get a little more active than I wanted to when I got the result. So that's the halfway mark. And um, uh, there's still, it looks like, is there a number of games going on? Uh, there's only one game going on, so I'm not going to get my break. I need to I need to refill on beer after that one, but I'm going to have to play the next one. And as soon as I, as soon as I get a quicker game, um, I, I'm going to have, have, have a little break. But you know what? It's still nice to beat someone of, of his level. Now I've got another, another, another top player, uh, another GM from America. And um, right, um, I need to need to get my role going now. So three out of five is okay, okay, but it's not you know it's not brilliant. Okay, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the London system because it worked okay last time. Now this is my little pet line with the idea of going e4. My opponent has stopped that, so now it's time to get Harry moving. Just I want to hear you shout it. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Here 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 comes Harry. So my opponent stopped Harry from moving very normal move and this position is about even it, i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't think i'm better here it's about even but okay it's going to come down to the middle game aspect of this so at least i've got my knight into a good square i could consider castling queenside to spice it up but i'm going to go for a more positional game like the last one because um i don't want him pushing over here so Let's gain some space on the queen side. He's playing very quick, so one thing I don't want to do is, is, is go down on time here. He's stopping that pawn from moving. Maybe I need to get c4 going. Um, the other idea is to go e4. So let, let's let's just potentially control some squares with that pawn. And 
I'm definitely going to get another drink after that. Whatever happens, at least I've, at least I managed to take a Cobian, a Cobian down, which is one good result. But let's see, let's see if I can get a good roll going. Let's see if I can get more, more results here. And what plans do I have? Well, e4 is my main idea, um, but that's quite committal playing e4. I obviously don't want to allow him to take my b pawn. So let's just let's just super guard that at the moment. I guess his plans to go c5. Right. Okay. So now 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 we get rid of these bishops, and he can't go c5. But not much too much is is occurring at this moment. Right. Okay. So I think in order to do something here, he's play he's play he's got his break in first. Uh, right. Now. Okay, well, I'm going to go for e4 again. Not not many not many tactics going on uh, in this position. So should I go e4? Is that going to be slightly worse for me? Let's let's try going e4. Let 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 let's try this one. It's quite risky now because my queen's lined up against this king. Um, I'm looking forward to another side today. I have to say that now. I've had one sider for 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 the first half, which is pretty slow going. Okay. Now, um, I think we're going to have to move this out of the way when I could get a slightly, slightly worse, worse position going on. Haven't got any of my tactics going here. I hope C5. Oh, no, I was thinking I was thinking I could go queen takes here now. But my opponent's going for a very simple plan when we're going to reach some ending where this pawn could could be weak. Well, I say could, it, 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 cl it clearly is weak. So rather than defend passively, which I hate doing in, in endings, can I defend this actively? Now, I'd love to get my king into the center, a bit slow though, to do that. Maybe I have to do that. Okay, at least, okay, we've got to think of the positives. I have control of the one open file and I only have one weak pawn. If I get my king into the position, there's a way I can try to grind, grind, you know, I, I maybe, maybe my position is fine. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe get it to e3, because as soon as my king defends this pawn, my rook on the open file can move. And that, that, that's, that's what I'm aiming for here, to get my, get my uh, rook on the open file moving. Because at the moment, both my rooks are tied down to this, which is my one weakness. But I think this position is roughly equal. I've got the weakness, but my king has more potential and I have control of the D file. So I think it's probably about even, but we, we of course have to try to, we have to try to keep pushing here. We want to, we want to put it in his pipe and make him smoke it. So, okay. So he's gone for this plan now where we could now rook C4 makes my rook very bad after b6 i have to play here and i didn't really i didn't really consider this but i've just realized poor harry is is potentially in a world of pain there and this is why i'd love to have my king on on f3 here but i, I can't get him to f3 it's a little bit a little bit um uh, a little bit behind in movement but i've got to keep my pieces active the most important rule in a rook ending is to keep your pieces active um so this one this one's gone but i'm not too concerned about that i've got to keep my other pieces active so hit his weak pawns and like i say this is this is certainly a little bit worse for me i'd say rookie well i say now he's played this c5 is a very clever move for my opponent and the issue now is i might lose control of this open file which i really don't want to do can i go e5 here takes takes rook d8 that pawn's a goner rook d7 rook e7 don't like it so much but do i have any choice there probably not so i'm gonna have to go for this one and try to defend another ending well I, you know I the problem is here i don't know if i've got many winning chances and i i need to uh <laughs> you know i, I obviously want to win this to to or keep some winning chances alive but rookie seven takes takes my king comes over and 
I'm holding everything together. So I've got to go for this. I've got to go for this line. But I've given up the D file. My opponent has played well. He's taken this D file. So let's see. F5 maybe is an option he can play. He's played it. And now king here, check. Can I then start playing for a win somehow? Well, check, I come back. Playing for a draw there, I'd imagine. Let's see what he does. I'll play this one. I have to keep up on time here. Now, king c4. This one, this one is like, you know, in some... Okay, he's playing for a win, of course. And now I've got to stop his rook coming in. He's got a weak pawn. Okay. Let's talk more moves, of course, now. Let's talk more moves. And this is my main priority now. He has got a weak pawn. Hello, Charlie. Charlie the Cat's just woken up as well. Uh, it'd be a bad, bad time for... Charlie the cat to 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 come running into to the position. Is this king coming in? Is this king really coming in there? Got to keep that king out. So I've got ninety nine problems and a cat is one. Um, I feel bad for your cat. I got 99 pro okay right so i'm just about holding it here but i'm not doing anything more but it's all gonna get incredibly down to the wire now i've got a really clever idea here oh no why do i do that <laughs> i thought i could go no that's not clever simon struggling here i thought i had rookie four but i just realized that would have lost lost some lost some ending so this this is looking grim now because my king's gone inactive. Yeah, okay, this this is not the way we wanted things to go, is it, boys and girls? No, it's not. Any chances here? Let's keep punting. Time is the major thing. So that is, of course, what I'm going to do is move blooming quickly. Okay, a draw is not the end of the world here if I can hold one, I think, because I, I haven't really got the things I wanted to get. Now, I'm feeling it should be a draw with correct play. Let's see. Maybe I can push for a win if he overpresses. So, okay, I'm going to push that pawn. The only way I'm going to win this is by pushing the pawn. And now, now I can play for a win. Now I can play for a win. I'm going to use Harry. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. I'm relying on you, sir. I'm relying on Harry to queen. We're going to play for a win now, definitely. Can I play for a win? Don't know how I can play for a win with this time situation. Hmm. Let's play for a win. Play for a win. It's your only way. I'm going to try to use Harry to get all the way there. Very risky to do this, of course. Because I could end up losing. Which is looking more likely now. <laughs> ah. Hmm. That's what happens when you push a little bit too much, though, isn't it? Oh, he's got me. He's got me. Ah! Threw it away there. That was so silly. I had to play for a win. I should take the draw. Ah. 
and there's nothing that can be done here there we go ah oh dear so i definitely let that one slip at the end that was very disappointing there um with i mean okay so we were repeating positions there and had i just kept the king on these these squares obviously i would have kept the kept the draw but i'm wondering if i could you know was there a better way to play for this win um even around here maybe i should have just um maybe i maybe it's just a draw you know maybe it's just a draw what about maybe i should have gone here this would have been better and then when the rook comes here then i play this move this is a much better way of doing it because my king is more active so i don't know it's, it's probably i probably just keep the draw i mean it probably is a draw along because his pawns over on the over on that side of the board are too strong um but that was that was very silly very very silly very silly okay well i'm gonna have a quick break now and i'll, I'll be back again in a second so disappointing six round there okay so restocked now might 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 help my my cause a little bit uh obviously uh had some rather that's some okay well i had that one game where i beat a cobium but of course had some had some bad bad games as well including that last one so uh it, it looks like there's four games left now we'll have a look at standings when we get a chance um in the meantime i'm playing don't be fooled by my opponent's uh, rating here he, he's a very strong grandmaster Tre treasure boff and treasure boff is actually married to uh, alexander krosteniak he, he's over 20 over 2600 um elo rating so he, he's a very very tough guy uh, to play and another gm so you saw how the dutch worked very well last time and i'm gonna give it a go this time i'm going to try i'm going to try a slightly different different opening style this time i often use my a pawn in the dutch it seems like quite a good move to get control of the b4 square and yeah i mean it's funny i, I don't know why my opponent's rating so low on chess.com it, it really it really should should be um a lot higher than what you see there uh and my, and my main idea again as as in most of these uh most of these battles you've seen is to try and get e5 in and my opponent's going to go e4 which i want to meet with f4 if i can 
So if I go here, 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 takes, here, here, what's happening there? Well, the other idea, e5, I can't quite get in because I go here straight away. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go for an interesting pawn sack line just because it, it looks, it looks a little bit intriguing to me. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if it's good or bad, but it looks interesting. Which my opponent has refused, understandably. Now, if I take, takes, no, I don't like it because he gets, uh, he, he gets the open, open, F file. So okay, so I'm kind of relying on this little pawn here, which which my opponent may may even whip off the board. My my idea was to try and get my knight over to h5 to to fight against that, which I can't do now. Um, can I try to prove this pawn is weak? Well, my knight doesn't have any potential to get around there now, so I, I need to at least open up my bishop and get this one in the game. So we do that. And later on, he is a pawn up, but it's a double pawn. So it's um, kind of a um, uh, kind of kind of a double edged position. This I think uh, pro probably roughly even even. I, I mean, I'm going I'm to go c6. My pawn structure is pretty intact. I'd love to get my knight to this square. I'm just looking at ways to 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 make a change to to my setup. Um, and another thing is this is very weak. First of all, though, I'm going to stop his knight coming in here. So, okay, so if I can somehow get my knight here, so I'm going to trace the route back. It's got to go to c7. Um, okay, he's bringing his knight this way as well to counteract that. So, um, let's hit some targets. Okay, I think enough messing about. Let's hit those targets. So if I take here, rook takes will be his plan do i want to swap my bishop for his rook probably not okay let's let's throw, throw this one in and now why can't i take here let's do it that's my idea all along i suppose uh, i suppose he's going to attack on the queen side where my knight is hanging i don't understand that last move of my opponents am i missing something isn't this going to give me quite a decent position here okay he can sack the exchange but he seems to be losing control of his position a lot uh, when my other rook is just going to aim at his king over there uh, with this move maybe he's got a way out this okay but i'm just going to go for his king side now i've got the open f file i've got f2 as a target so we're gonna uh, go for that one and let's do it straight away i, I don't i don't care about my c pawn we're just going to aim for this little guy here let's just try to aim for that one try to take that pawn um now f3 is certainly a playable move for my opponent but then his bishop becomes dead which which is okay so he's gone f3 probably the only move he had now here knight takes rook takes d3 looks looks quite strong let's do it little little tactic here um and my opponent has noticed it but surely I, I must be able to go on the offensive now somehow so how can i go on the offensive in this position queen here takes takes rook takes and i feel my position should be good now but that doesn't always mean it, it, it's enough and knight takes takes. Why must I want to get my queen in, but I can't see a natural way to get it in the game. Okay, I'm going to go here because maybe my queen's going to come the other way. My time's awful though, right? Very messy position this. Very messy position. I mean, originally I was thinking this was good for me, but the more I look at it, the more, more I'm getting a little bit worried. So I'm just going to try to get all my pieces into the position here somehow. I'm going to try to squeeze him on the back rank. But of course, my opponent's got his own ideas. And I've got to watch out for Eddie the E-Pawn. Hence why I've moved my Rook. If I can round this little guy up, Rook E8, then, then things things are going to be going, going all right here. So, you know, I win this one. Still, it's not a good score. I think I've played like four Grandmasters in a row. 
I am a grandmaster, so it doesn't really mean much. But you know, we can we can try and have a good finish uh, to the tournament. We'll check out the standings after after this game. But of course, this is a massive game to win. Um, four games to go. If I can win the last four, I, I finish with a fantastic score. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to play this nice and carefully now and try to round up his pawns. Don't need to do anything. I don't need to do anything crazy. A bit like the Kobian game. If I can win his e pawn, then his position should crumble. Um, but in chess, there's always going to be tactics at some moment. And with this move here coming in, the tactics are starting. Uh, 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 right. Okay, well, I like my position. I have to say, I do like my position, especially after this little move. My threat is rook f1 checkmate. So if he goes e7, which he may have been considering, my rook will come down there with checkmate. So this is um, this is a hard one to stop because I'm also threatening to win his queen when my rook moves. So he has to move his queen. But then I have this check minimum and I pick up the pawn here which is a good ending for me. Is it winning? I don't know. Maybe I have something better than that tactic. Can I do, do I have something better there? Uh, so I'm just calculating if I can win, if I have an outright win here. Uh, okay, so he's gone here with the idea check queen takes. And that ending looks very good for me. But do I have something better? No, I like this one. We're gonna go for this one. Don't know if this ending is winning or not. We'll have to find out. Now I think I can throw in this check let's hope i don't fall for some disaster here yeah we'll go for this check time what's this like what is this position like really weird ending i mean i i think i, I think unless something nasty is happening that move i'm hoping covers it only only i've got uh winning chances here so because my queen my queen clearly coordinates a lot better than my opponent's pieces and i'm just going to try to gobble as many of those guys as i can so yeah i mean this should be winning this should be winning this position i've stopped his rook coming here check with my queen on that square um just got to avoid any little disasters here so i'm trying to find the best squares for my pieces and slowly but surely i'm going to push my pawns up the board so I, yeah these pawns will come up nice nice and slowly okay time Ugh. okay right i've got to get a pass pawn on both sides of the board that's why i'm going over here as well and not blunder of course not blunder Two connected pass pawns. It's got to be enough. Surely. Surely that's enough to win. And I've got to check. He can't even take that pawn. That's a winner. That's a winner there. That's a winner there. That's a winner there. Oh, yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke the rainbow. Okay. Well, that was a tough game, that one. Um, like I said, my opponent, very strong player. Um, he, he's married to the ex-world champion, Kostenyak. Uh, he, they live now in Paris. He's he's over 2600, I think. You know, Elo rated. Um, maybe Blitz is not not his 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 main one. So uh, anyway, managed managed to get there in the end in that game. And I think I'm going to celebrate with a, a cheeky a cheeky little glass here. Um, so we're, let's have a look at the standings first because there's still three games to go. Uh, so a lot of things can change, but. Um, at the top, I don't know who Tennis Master is. Let's have a look. Tennis Master is uh, someone from Cuba I've never heard of. Then you have Hikaru. Everyone knows Hikaru, of course. And going down the, down the rank, down the rank, you can probably recognise uh, a lot of these a lot of these big names here. So I'm only I'm only on four out of seven. It's not a great score, but if I can if I can have a strong finish, then it, it's not going to be that bad either. 
and where am I where am I so we're going down a little bit more okay so I'm in 60th place so um I need to yeah I need to do some big finishes at the end there basically uh to 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 make this tournament a good one and just going to use the toilet very briefly as well sorry to share that with you um and also who else is here who else well spinal tap I lost to has got a little bit less than me but he's still got a game so I'll be back in a second So, uh, okay, so it all going well. Luckily, the toilet is literally, it, it's not a bucket in the corner of the room, but it is uh, like very close to here. So I did even wash my hands. I had time to do that, just in case you're wondering. Um, so we've got uh, three games left and had some tough games recently. So play some, play some big players. Um, managed to beat a Cobian, which is a good result. And obviously going to try to finish finish on the high here let's just keep going down the scores and see if Trent is still playing and see how uh, John Bartholomew is getting on as well so just scrolling down a little bit well like I said um, okay you'd be, be helpful if you could see you can see here uh, that is the wife of um, the player I just played uh, Alexander Kostenyuk and going a little bit further okay I've just played treasure boff I mean there's so many GMs in the field it's ridiculous uh, John Bartholomew here in 93rd place, three out of seven. So um, John in 93rd place, you know, having a tough tournament there. Where is Lawrence Trent? I bet he has, is Loz still around or has he gone to bed? Well, you can see a lot of people have pulled out. Vlad there has pulled out, unfortunately, on the same score as me. And so many strong players here have pulled out as well. I mean, that, that often happens, you know. Um, to be honest, if I wasn't streaming, I, 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 you know, because of the late start, I may have pulled out because now it's getting to 11.30 here in England and I've got a very busy day tomorrow. So, uh, and I do want to chill out a little bit, three games to go. Am I going to be able to survive that? We'll see. It's, it's a, it's a long old, a long old slog of streaming, but luckily I've got a bit of, uh, I've got a bit of cider power, uh, to keep me going. Um, and we're in for another game. So another Grandmaster now. And I'm playing Fish Fishbein from America. And let's okay, I'm just gonna try to take him down aggressive this time. Now now I should have I should have played more positional at the start. I'm not gonna go for the London system, I don't think. I, I wanna I wanna play I wanna play my normal aggressive um kind of stuff here. He plays the King's Indian defence. Now an opening I've been looking at recently against this is the Harry attack and Harry hasn't done much today so we're gonna get Harry rocking and rolling now just because I, I, I was thinking about this move and um, it's quite an interesting little move you know quite an interesting little move we can give it a go uh, just to try to cause a little bit of chaos over there when your opponent plays g6 we try to attack the weaknesses so I'm gonna try to throw Harry in and here he comes you give up Harry goodbye Harry goodbye dear sir we don't give it we don't care for harry anymore well we do poor poor soldier um he's not even doing it okay right well now we're gonna of course try to open up the position and we get a very interesting fight here um with quite a unique structure so i'm just thinking of the right way to play this now how about i give a pin that looks like a tempting move and this is a very interesting way of playing against the king's indian um defense because in the king's indian defense black often i'm playing a weird idea just coming up with a weird idea black often is the one attacking so 
uh, this idea of throwing Harry, and I've given up one pawn. Well, I haven't given up one pawn. I have now. Is is an interesting way to play. Now, I, I thought of this idea recently, but I don't know if it's any good. And my opponent's just playing a very sensible line against it, and we have a very complex position on the board. When I'm trying to, I'm offering him a pawn to take. But I kind of missed this this clever queen e8 move. And it's, it's a complete mess. Complete mess here. Very, very complex position. Um, with lots of tactical things happening. So, which I've got to now try to work out. So takes, takes, knight here. Looks correct to me. But do I want to keep this bishop there? I wanted to get my bishop to this square, you see. that That, that was the issue that... I was trying to work out if I could do. And this pawn now, can't move it. Takes, takes, knight here, takes. Can I get any attack going with takes there? No, I'm going to have to grab material, which I don't really like doing. This is, this is not, I don't really trust this position now. I'm going to have to try to grab the rook. But on the mean, meantime, I'd rather be black here because he's got the, he's got the natural easy attack. Okay, but I'm going to grab the rook in the corner. Um, and it's certainly now I have knight d5 here but no we, we've got to grab a rook haven't we I just don't like these pawns coming down his pawns are worth a rook here easily and where do my pieces go oh so I'm not really liking this position too much at the moment and he's also going to win this one over here how do I break down this blockade uh, not easily is the answer and well i'm gonna have to finish my development here uh, bishop e2 and i'm going to try to get something to g4 you know trying to get trying to get some piece into g4 i'm gonna i'm gonna allow him to take this one so he'll probably move his move his bishop and take the knight on a8 i'm gonna, I'm gonna allow that to happen not too worried about that happening. In the meantime, I want to get a piece to g4. So obviously my opponent playing cleverly there has stopped me from doing that. He's trying to suffocate my position, which makes a lot of sense. Now g4 is the move that initially comes to mind, but then d3. He's just going to play d3. And I'm liking this less and less. Just not what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to try to... Uh, um complicate matters somehow and of course he's played this one now uh the the, the, the word uh, uh comes to mind uh in, in this position with uh, a very murky position but okay at the moment i'm rook up but look at those pawns look at look at those pawns i'd love to exchange all the pieces tom drog but that is really hard to do, especially when my king is in so much trouble here. Uh, well, I have to... Oh, no, he's attacking my bishop as well. I can't lose that piece. Let's get it to the most solid square I can find and put it here. But it's a bit like what, what happened to one of my opponent's bishops earlier on. It's now very tough. I've got to try to get this one off the board. And, okay, let's do it. A play here. I'm even down a material now. Uh, even down a material in this position. Is there any good news here? This position's crap. There's no good news here, guys. This is terrible. Everything's bad. I mean, I'm even thinking of resigning this one, to be honest. But, ugh, especially with his queen coming in. Ugh. Okay, he's not even doing that. I think he's enjoying himself too much here. The bishop dominates everything. <laughs> this is absolutely painful. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Well, desperate, desperate times. Try to get rid of, I mean, get rid of that one. Okay. The, the only thing I can think of doing here is, is to make as many exchanges as I can. Try to get to an ending. When my rooks might have a chance, because I, I don't. If I was black, I wouldn't have exchanged queens like my opponent has. 
because the point is my king was in such a bad situation exchanging queens has, has now means my king now is not so bad actually this is looking now a lot better i still think i'm in trouble like knight d4 in this position which causes plagues he's a good player it, it is a real issue um again i can't let his pieces in uh Right, well, I, I, my plan is to swap the bishop off. I couldn't have done that last move because the knight takes. And with the time situation, things are running down even more. I've got some chances. I've got some chances. Um, and, well, I actually saw he had knight e2 in that position last time, which is even stronger. So I'm not going to give him a second chance to play a good move. My bishop, yes, is absolutely blooming terrible here. I do agree. It's probably the worst piece that anyone's ever seen in a game of chess. Uh, I've got to stop his rook coming in. On the plus side, I, I, I'm doing well on the clock. Not. Um, so what is the plus side? Any plus size people? That pawn is a killer. I can't see many plus sides at the moment. No, no, no. I haven't even managed to get any, any frets going here. Ah. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to call time on this game. H2 is 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 uh, too much. You know, I'm still trying. We can try, we can still try. I I I I desperate defense desperate defense Have you ever seen more desperate defense than this? Okay. That could be the one. Right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in the towel here. I think that's too much. His pawns proved to be a little bit too stronger, and well, I have to say, guys, look, I'm getting completely, completely cream crackered here, and uh, which means knackered, tired. Um, I haven't done this before. You know, we've we've had eight rounds. Um, there's been some interesting games. It's a pity pity things started a little bit later today, but. I do have I do have a very busy day tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna actually call call it a call it a day now on the stream. I'm gonna have to pull out the last two rounds, finish on fifty percent, very average. Some some good things, some bad things, but I just feel my energy is absolutely going now. Um, I'm just wondering how I can leave the tournament, so I'll say my goodbyes in a minute. Um, but the energy. <laughs> we needed to start half an hour earlier it would have been it would have been a different a different kettle of fish i would of course be uh doing more streams in the future and, and we'll do we'll do lots more you know lots more of this but I, I need to have the energy levels to do things so um so all in all i think it's been good good stream i'll put i'll put this video up on youtube um but unfortunately at this moment in time i've just got such a big workload and i've got to get up at like six o'clock tomorrow um and considering it's nearly getting near midnight it, it's looking it, it's looking it's looking a bit tough to do that so um i'm just going to see how i can leave i hope you enjoyed the games i had i, I know john bartholomew is still streaming and aman as well uh, i don't really like streaming when I, my, my energy is lacking i've got to be a sort of top form and the same with playing um so uh i'm just wondering how i can how i can leave so i'm just going to do that then I'll, I'll say my goodbyes again so um let me just find out how do i leave i'm sure there's an easy command that i should know um to do this uh but we'll we'll, we'll find out how, how how this goes anyway guys um i do hope you enjoyed it thanks to everyone who who's uh joined joined in the the stream um thanks for you all for watching uh pop over to john bartholomew's now or aman on the official site you can see how the the top guys are going um thank you especially to everyone who's donated is very kind 
kind of you to to donate a, a, a little bit of middle um a little bit of meal meal <laughs> um someone's saying click on withdraw how do we how we do it how do we do that close the window uh uh you can you can tell the time okay the thing is getting to me now so how do we do this withdraw if there were if there was a button called withdraw i, I um okay you, you see top where it says join okay yes it's taking me somewhere else next trick says oh i see okay so we are going to withdraw there there we go guys so yeah so you know thank you to everyone i'll be doing more streams just just a bit of a bit of a long day today uh i'll be up on youtube thanks we had some had some good games still disappointed with the way the thing's gone i think i finished on 50 percent so uh not one of my better ones not one of the worst ones probably the highlight was beating a cobian um with black but with the white pieces i was really playing like an absolute plonker absolute idiot with white which i need to i need to sort out for the future i can't play like that as white anymore that, that's just been bad a bad day with white with black i was doing okay but whites were letting me down so cheers until next time i will be streaming again but thank you for spending your time with me today and um i'll see you all shortly uh, i'm now i'm now gonna hit the sack after what's been a long week and an early start tomorrow so see you later guys goodbye for now